What's up guys? In this episode, I'm going to be talking about TubeBuddy, the plugin for YouTube, which helps me, which impacts my content, helps my channel grow. I'm going to go step by step on how I use it. Stick around. This is going to be a fun one. So guys, TubeBuddy was something I came across about a year ago and I implemented it on my channel. It has given me insights which have helped me grow my organic reach, specifically on my YouTube channel, but it's also helped me just understand SEO a little bit more and understand how to make my tags and what exactly to look for. If you have a YouTube channel, if you're a YouTube creator, if you're trying to get more organic reach for your videos, I think this video is gonna offer you a lot of value so let's get right to it. Let's bring the camera over here. I'm just gonna record my screen on the camera today, try something different. Guys, come take a look at how I am going to launch a video. Hey guys, so once TubeBuddy is integrated, you're gonna have a couple things on your main YouTube Creator Studio. You're gonna have this bulk and miscellaneous tools, which allows you to do things like find and replace text in your videos, copy bulk cards, update, a copy bulk end screens if you're trying to do some of your old videos and get end screens and cards on all of them. Um, it also has miscellaneous tools, the demonet demonetization, double check, channel backup, really cool things like that. And then over here is where you're gonna be able to get a little bit more information in terms of the tools that are available. You're gonna see your dashboard. It's gonna help you navigate and find different ways to improve your content. Now, one of the things that I like to do here, I have a pro subscription. Um, I just go to this keyword explorer a lot and type in the different topics that I want to potentially make videos for. So for example, I really wanna start talking about the Clubhouse app. I'm gonna make some videos um, about it. So a lot of the top searches that come up right away when I do my explore is things like Clubhouse app Android, Clubhouse app demo, Clubhouse app invite. But it's kind of interesting to look at this and, and see that it's actually quite poor at this time. There is not a lot of search volume. The competition is quite poor. It means there's a lot of videos on Clubhouse app so far and the optimization strength is in the middle. So the overall ranking is seven out of 100. So let's change that to Clubhouse app or let's try to do something like um, how to make a club on Clubhouse. Something that's interesting and, and hard to do. When I look that up, 76 that means that there's not a lot of videos on that so far the search volume is there's people searching for it and the optimization strength is high that's something that interests me now i can I, and it's something that i noticed when i was on clubhouse trying to figure out so it tells me that that would be a great video to make as a keyword explorer i can't expect anything else out of that it just helps me right away understand what to look for and what videos to make. And it's quick and easy to use, which is which is really nice. All right, now I wanna show you the main thing that I love. Now, once I post a video, this is the insights I didn't have before. Let's say I go to the one I made about Vero and I scroll down. TubeBuddy has a little section here. It also has a little create thumbnail here. But when I go down, look at this, all of my tags that I used. It shows me my ranking in all of those searches. So Vero App 2021 ranks one, Vero App 2022 ranks one, um, Vero Creators ranks three, Vero Verified Creator ranks one, Get Verified on Vero ranks three, Vero Social Media ranks two, like blow your mind the data that that gives you and allows me to improve my tags one after another. I mean. One of the mistakes I used to make was I used to, well, let's go to another video right now. This is one I haven't posted yet. So this video is content marketing and making trends in 2021. So what I used to do is I used to do things like this. I used to go things like content and then making and then tips and then 2021. But 
TubeBuddy taught me that that's not the correct method. You won't appear in any of those searches. It's, it's, it's an outdated method of doing your tags that a lot of the other videos online would talk about. So I realized that that's not the way to go. Instead, what I would do is I would do content making trends in 2021. Relates to the title, relates to the description. It's something that's important to me. Now, if you double click on that, it's going to bring up the keyword explorer and it's going to tell me how good it is. This is 52 out of 100. Not bad. That's a good keyword and tag that I'm using in my video. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that. I'm going to, I'm going to make sure that that tags in my, my description somewhere in some capacity, and then it's going to allow me to add the rest of my tags. It also recommends tags based on strengths So digital marketing trends, 2021, 72. I'm going to add that one social media trends. 2021, I'm going to add that one. What else do we have here? Top content marketing tips, 82. I'm going to add that one. It recommends based on your video and all the information on your channel, what those tags should be crazy, amazing. And it's helped me. I'm just going to show you guys here on a couple other videos. I showed you Vero. Now let's go to video marketing strategy for 2021. Again, if I scroll down, I'm going to see which ones video marketing strategy 2022 one video marketing strategy 2021 six video marketing tips 2021 five video marketing organic reach one these are where i'm ranking now i'm not ranking on all of them and some of the ones that are more basic like video marketing it doesn't stand a chance there's too much competition but some of the other searches that are appearing online that that tubebuddy recommended to me i'm appearing number one now, compared to what I used to have before, where I was making those tag mistakes, I wasn't appearing in any of the major searches. Now I'm able to do that and my organic reach is going up. Now, that's on a basic level what TubeBuddy does for me. Now, it also has tag lists. I don't have any set up. I don't use many of the other options on TubeBuddy, even though there is things like video topic planner, tag list, um, best time to publish, things like that. I mean. Best time to publish is an interesting one um, when it brings you to your rec to buddy recommended section here. So it says when your viewers are on YouTube, it shows that most of mine are early in the morning. So it just shows me across the week that the best time for me to publish is 6 a.m., 5 a.m. on Tuesday, 6 a.m. on Wednesday, 5 a.m. on Thursday. This is this is good data and it recommends a TubeBuddy section here based on the plugin that's added. So guys, I do want to say that TubeBuddy did not compensate me directly for making this video. This is just my recommendation. It has helped me. I watched a couple of YouTube videos on it earlier on before I got onto TubeBuddy and started to use it. And it's just in the last 20 videos I've posted, I'm appearing in organic rankings now. I'm not making the same tag mistakes that I was making before. I am going to have my referral link below where you guys can click on it, or if you didn't like this video, you can just search TubeBuddy on Google. All I'm looking for is for you guys to get value from it and hopefully extend the organic reach of your guys' channels. That's it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys got a lot of value out of it. You guys know what to do. Smash the buttons below, subscribe, like, dislike, whatever you guys are into. And I hope to see you guys in my next digital marketing content creation tip episode. That's all for now.